person in this room has every right to feel how you feel. You're going to go through every single motion, every fast motion, back and forth, up and down. A community coming together searching for answers after a boy was shot dead in York County. Neighbors holding a vigil tonight, praying for peace. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Michael Gorsegner. Pain, fear and anger flooding the community after the shooting death of the 12 year old boy in the streets of Redline. Tonight, people gathering to show unity and support for the family. CBS 21's Hallie Jacobs is in Redline with the latest on the investigation and the push to make a difference. A candlelight vigil bringing together the Red Lion community after a series of incidents, the most recent being the shooting of a young boy. It's going to suck. It's going to suck today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Right now, neighbors in the Red Lion community are on edge with more questions than answers. The vigil offering them a chance to be at peace after a young boy was gunned down while running down the street. So when we do things like this and we all come together to show that we're one united front, it takes one brick for the bridge to start that foundation. Neighbors identify him as 12 year old Kane. Many neighbors also refusing to speak about the incident and multiple stories as to what really happened last night. Obviously my first concern was, was it a suicide? You know, and then as we started learning other instances, then I was, what about the other kids that were there? What about the families? How's this going to impact the community? And we need to do something. Pictures showing an active scene in the 10th block of First Avenue in Red Lion. Police arriving to the scene a little before 9 p.m. Saturday night. They say they found the young boy dead due to an apparent gunshot wound. You know, friends that you know witnessed the incident that happened yesterday, you know, the, the people involved, it can impact them on a number of different levels those situations can spiral into other situations and that's what we want to try to prevent now the police say that there is no danger to the public and they will continue investigating in red lion hallie jacobs cbs 21 news